Hey guys, we are going to try out a new recipe. It's called chicken fricassee, 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 <laughs> frickin' chicken. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. This is what it's called. Chicken fricassee. No, fricassee. Yeah, chicken fricassee. That's what we're going to make. I should let you guys know, this is um, an hour cook time. Because just in case, you know, you don't want to stop cooking it and then you find out that it actually takes an hour to cook, which is what I did. So, <laughs> we're going to take a Ziploc bag and toss our chicken with a couple tablespoons of flour. I need to fill my flour container up. I think they have enough in here. I'm just lightly coating them. Now I've got a mess there. So we're just going to shake this around and coat the chicken. Just cleaning up my mess. I was thinking maybe I should tell you guys ahead of time what you need. So, the recipe calls for three pounds of chicken, five tablespoons of flour, one medium iron, three cups of chicken broth, one bay leaf, one pound of baby carrots, one tablespoon of butter, three fourths cup of milk, one tablespoon of lemon juice, Three tablespoons of minced fresh dill, one teaspoon of sugar, and then six cups of cooked noodles. I'm using egg noodles. So that is the ingredients. Now we're going to just pop our chicken in the pan. It's nice and hot. And we're just going to brown it. On all sides. I'm going to heat up a little bit. We'll let those brown on one side and then put them over and brown the other side. And once you get your chicken nice and brown, you're going to add three cups of chicken broth. I'm actually using four because my family likes a lot of sauce, so this way they'll have a little bit more. I'm going to crank the heat up to high just to bring it to a boil. And you would add your uh, bay leaf now, which I don't have, so <laughs> I won't be adding one. I'm going to just let that come to a boil now. Here we have it. We have a little boil going on there. It only took, I don't know, two minutes maybe. So we're going to cover it and turn it down to low. Set a timer for um, 30 minutes. And then after that we'll add the carrots and do the rest of the steps. Alright, we're at our halfway point with this. hot. So now you want to add your iron, a whole iron, or well a medium iron, cut into wedges or cut it however you want. But because Dave doesn't like a lot of like chunks of iron, I'm going to leave it out and just add some stinking onion powder. I'm sure the iron would be much better. And we're going to add our carrots. I have some that I had cut up the other day for dinner, but you can just use a bag of baby carrots if you want. I'm going to get those in there. Cut 
cover it back up and let it go for another 20 to 30 minutes. You know, just depending on how well your chicken's cooking. In goes the milk. So, let me get some lemon juice over here. You only need one tablespoon of lemon juice. going like mad. I'm going to turn it down to medium high. Let's see how our carrots are. Perfect. So I don't have any fresh dill because I forgot it. And fresh dill would just be so much better. So if you get fresh dill, that's good. But I have this, so we're going to add this. We need three tablespoons. Well, actually, it's going to be one, let me see, it's going to be three teaspoons of the dried stuff, so three teaspoons. But three tablespoons of fresh. Teaspoon of sugar. Teaspoon of sugar. And that is it. I don't think we have to add anything else. We just want our sauce to get thick. Dill makes it so pretty. I love dill. I've told you guys that before. It's one of my favorite herbs. Alright, I'm going to turn this back down to low and cover it just because my family's not home yet. So this is just about done, guys. I'm just going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch, which I just mixed with a little bit of milk. Just let it thicken up, and then that is it. It's good to go. I'll show you guys when I plate it up. <laughs> 